and welcome to All About Sport, live from the top of the town studios in Conley Street, Cavan. Each week we will include a wide variety of sport from all around County Cavan. And if you'd like your sport featured on the show, simply contact drumlinmedia at gmail.com. So this evening I am joined by many successful uh, stars tonight, um, our club champions, um, Lara and Lacken. But first I am joined by junior club champions for 2012, Lara, did I get it right? Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. I was going to make sure I didn't confuse the two teams. Um, well, congratulations, um, Lara, Junior Club Champions. Um, and thank you very much for coming into the show tonight. I'm sure you're all exhausted after the celebrations over the last few days. But um, um, we'll, we'll come to you first. Uh, Paul Grodden, you're the chairman of the club. Um, you know, a, gr a great win for the boys on Sunday. How did you feel? Oh, it was fantastic. It was... Um just out of this world, we went in with the hope of putting up a good show, and if we won, it'd be great. But the fact that we won it in such style on the last probably kick of the ball, it was fantastic. The excitement from the stand and from all our supporters was re really, really good. Something that to be cherished for the next hundred years in the club. That's right. You know, you have uh, Kevin Connolly couldn't make it tonight, but you know he joined the the, <coughs> the team this year. Um, what well, you know? What did he do different to turn this team around? Well, Kevin Kevin McDonald came from Ramar to us uh, this year. Uh, I suppose what he done to t turn the team round, he's totally a player's man. Mm. Uh, no matter what the players said or done, Kevin always f figured the players were right and he backed them to the hilt from the very start of the year. Uh, training was all football, so you know, Kevin was totally a player's man. He wanted the players to enjoy it all year. That's that's what I figured m m made it for Lara this year. Yeah, great. Um, so Adrian, we'll come to you next year, one of the half forwards. Um, you know, you were going <coughs> well, but um, Mike Nugent, you know, scored them two goals. You know, did that... Did you feel the team put their heads down and and felt that they were losing faith? How did it feel, you know, being on the, the field? Um, well, I suppose uh, when Nugent got two goals at crucial times, you know, just before half time yeah. and uh, probably midway through the second half. But <clears throat> from myself, from my point of view, I thought the lads did terrific. They never dropped their heads once. They kept grinding it out and... In the end, then we got our just rewards. Yeah, you're th like six of your players scored, um, in comparison to three of Mike Nugent's. Yeah. So obviously you had a very strong score inside. We did, surely, yeah. But as well, we had like, I think only what two of our forwards scored, and we had like Dexter Collie here and Declan Brady, and the two wing backs chipping in as well, which is crucial because it, it's not every day every forward's going to score, so it has to come from somewhere else as well, like. Yeah, um, and uh, uh, Colin Oates. <laughs> Make sure I get the two, Colin yeah, and Colin. Yeah. Hello, so, ladies. Colin, you're 16 years playing. Not that you could tell, but we're looking at you. But you know, you're one of the most <laughs> one of the most experienced uh, players uh, on the team. You know what? Um, you know, you were you played midfield. You had to go off um, with with injury, but you're very dominant in midfield. But you know, what changes have you seen in 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 the panel over the last you know number of years? Yeah, um, I suppose in the last three years, maybe four years, um, there has been a lot of turnaround with players in and out and all that type of thing. And we're very fortunate with Lara to have such a good, fine, young bunch of players c coming in. Now, <coughs> it probably took two or three years to get them to this level um, <coughs> with the help of managers in the past. But Kevin McDonald, as Porrick said, came in from Rammer and he has had a lot of success from Rammer. And also he's gained a lot of experience um, over the years. So he came in with that um, mentality and um, got the best out of the players. I suppose he said at the start of the year that he's going to take a risk. He wasn't going to run us around the pitch. He was going to play purely football. Yeah. And that's what happened. And, and our skills improved this year because of that. What type of, um, you know, he was very much into <coughs> strengthening and your fitness side of things. Yeah, we did. We done a lot of um, hard work, um, sit ups and press ups, and running on the spot and all that type of thing there. Which, which, um, you know, I suppose in the last ten minutes of the match against Medjugorje that came into play, we were we were stronger and able to turn over tackles and win possession. I, Colm here beside me, I, I know David Kibney when it's on a solo run down the pitch, and and Colm was able to run after him and and win the ball from him. Yeah, um, Callum, you can tell us a little bit about uh, your like a wing half forward. Tell us a bit about, I suppose, the training that you know Kevin <coughs> put you through. Well, like the training of fairness to Kevin was excellent, but like I always believe, I said it at a club meeting at the start of the year, like training is half of what the manager does and half of what people put into it. Mm -hmm. And in fairness to all the boys, like there was massive output all the year. Like 
normally a team gets to a final or is going well, boys be coming out from Dublin and we've quite a lot of, lot of young players, students like up in Dublin so and very young, young, young team, team up and coming and team. And in fairness, all year, you know, everyone, even the start of league games and that, everyone was travelling down, We I was up myself like, and everyone was travelling down week after week for training on a Tuesday night, like, you know, and that's what you need, you know, because you have the best train in the world, but unless you have the boys there putting in the effort, like, you know, it's yeah. useless. So um, most both ways. Well, exactly. Uh, David Givney, you know, he seemed like one of your biggest threats. Um, you know, what kind of did you put into to? How did you just kind of put him off his game? Do you think he had the kind of uh, backup from his own team, or was it just David Givney seemed uh, well, to be out there on his own? I uh, like in fairness to David, he's a class actor. There's no doubt about it. And a very hard man to stop, but. Look, you Collie here as well used to jump and climb on top of men and Collie battled him and then I tried run after him. Like, that was the main plan. And thank God it worked to an extent anyway. Yeah, so. so it worked it well. Worked oh. already, yeah. um, Declan, you're uh, one of the backs. Um, you know, what happened to them Them two goals that the back line let in? You know, yeah. Two I mean, so- you, soft you goals? You can talk you about the two goals, all right, but uh, we only conceded five scores in the game, so uh, as a defence, you'd be happy enough with that. and. Yeah. The, the two half backs, myself and Liam, we got up and kicked the point, so you'd be happy enough with that. And Seamus in the middle centre back was mad at the match on the day, so uh, overall, I thought the defence was outstanding. Yeah, so you, you, yeah, the you, second goal was a soft goal to give away. But you usually say most teams, you know, when when they score goals, that they're going to win yeah. uh, win the game or win the championship. But um, you know, you didn't seem to lose faith at all. No, no, there's great fight in this team and determination. We weren't going to lose Sunday, so. You it's sixty eight years since you've won a junior title at, at Park, but you have won other, you know intermediate and seniors. Oh yeah, yeah. The club had been very successful in the late seventies and the mid eighties. We won four senior championships, three in a row, uh, from eighty one to eighty four, and again in ninety four won an intermediate championship. But starved for the last eighteen years, and uh, you know, I suppose these set of young players that competed well at underage level and beaten in a couple of minor finals and beaten in an under twenty one final last year, had a point to prove this year and definitely. It was to be seen on the day in the dressing rooms before we went out or even at half time. I had no yeah. doubt that our lads were going to win with the way with the hunger that they had on them. Yeah, and, and that today there was um and a great display of football on the day. So the celebrations went well. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Are you still <laughs> celebrating? Have I just, you know, taken his away from the celebrations? No, no. So he's went back to um <laughs> who, who sponsors the team? Cross Range and Stradone. So he's were back to Stradone on, on Sunday night. Sunday night. Till the, the, the early, yeah, yeah, to the I, early I, hours. I don't think the pub's closed at all. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and there's, hopefully there's no uh, guard, guards watching this now. <laughs> no, <laughs> Get anyone in trouble. Fair play, we and, a great local man, Tommy Rodney, supplied the minibus for all that box. Oh, that that's happens. good. And um, so you've got the the Ulster um, uh, championships are coming up next. The club, junior club championships yeah, are coming next. Junior clubs on, so the, fourth, on the fourth of um, October. We have a home game in Breffney Park against the Derry Champions. And we don't know who... Oh, it's in Breffney. It's in Breffney. November. So Fourth November. Fourth November. So it's, it's a home game, so hopefully that'll be helped us. Now, we yeah. don't know how good or bad they are. We weren't thinking that far ahead. Yeah. So you're kind of delighted with the opportunity to <coughs> maybe maybe win the Ulster well, title. It's, it's kind of a case of now, look, like we set out to achieve... We have seen it. We have a championship won. Like, you know, whereas we'd love to go on and also, like, everyone after this, it really is a bonus, you know? Yeah. Like, we know nothing about these. I heard so today... The one that final well, this kicked three sixteen. Like, but look, you know, our defence has proved to be tough to by this year, and look, we're looking forward to being you know, honest with us. So you're a young team. Um, ha- apart from yourself, Collie, the rest of you played at under twenty one and level yeah, before. There's twelve of the team under twenty three. Yep. Okay, so a very very young team. Yeah. Yeah. I, th- I think actually nine of the lads that played are eligible to play under twenty one this year. Okay. Right, so it just goes to show that you really are. And I suppose, as it is, I suppose it echoes around a lot of the clubs that they have a lot of young up-and-coming players, but you in particular seem to have a very uh, young team. So um, when's the training starting back then for... Um, <laughs> uh, hopefully not shaking heads. Away. <laughs> or Kevin, if you're watching this, you know, yeah. they're, they're just very eager to get out We're training. We're doing our own training. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the cross they're, 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 they're private gyms. Yeah. I wonder, um, do we have any photos... Um, we don't. We don't have any. Unfortunately, we've no photos to show. Um, to show the the the, um, the the winning. So, man of the match was um, Seamus Cooney. Um, you know, how did he play then, Park? Well, oh, Seamus had a brilliant game. Centre back and um, 
I suppose, to, to typify the fella, he said to his mother uh, or father leaving the house that morning, I think I'm going to be a man of the match today. And, you know, <laughs> I think it's great to the fella can go with that confidence. And see really, it. Well, that's, that's and, confidence and in itself. Yeah. He was a class actor. So it was a well-deserved... Um, Between himself and Colin McKenna and the half-back line, they were able to fit the whole David Kivney back with the midfielders and all them lads together. So it was real, yeah. Uh, very much deserve a man of the match now, Seamus Cooney. Yeah, well, that's great. Well, look, I have to say thank you very much for coming in and speaking to us on All About Sport. Best of luck with the um, Ulster Junior Championships and um, enjoy the rest of the celebrations. Make the most of it. Mm -hmm. And um, thanks again. So um, that was the Lara um, Junior uh, Champions for 2012. And we're going to take um, a short break. But stay with us. We'll be back with the Lacken Intermediate Champions. Hi, I'm Marty Morrissey and you're watching Cavan. TV. I'm Willie John McBride and you're watching Cavan TV. I'm Mark McHugh and you're watching Cavan TV. I'm Tommy Boat and you're watching Cavan TV. Pat Short here, you're watching Cavan TV. And welcome back. I am now joined by the Intermediate Champions for 2012, Lacken. Woohoo! Welcome into the studio, boys. <laughs> so um, I'm joined by, yes, I've nearly got half the team with me and management. But um, thanks very much for coming in and speaking to us on All About Sport. Um, you were a bit busy uh, a couple of weeks ago, Jason. I couldn't get hold of you before the, the first... Um, uh, the first game of the final yeah. but um, thanks for coming in anyway Jason you know first time you're a Bilturbit man and a lot of I know you well and a lot of people uh, watching know you know you played um, with Cavan and you were very successful and um, and you've played with the Rory's played won two county champions tell us um, first time as lack and manager you know what it's such a result what what do you think you know um, what did you do to to get such a result so fast well I suppose uh it was belief in the players first, you know, they were a young set of players. Uh, last year didn't go well for them. Uh, they were a low ebb in that and uh, I suppose I suppose tried to talk to them and see what went wrong last year, yeah. apart from this year and that. And uh, uh, I suppose we ironed a few things out. Um, we, we had our own, uh, I suppose, targets for the year ahead and yeah. uh, we set them in stone first and uh, we took one game at a time and uh, thank God it paid dividends at the end. 
you know, you were saying that the the, the boys had they were demoted l last year, so really you did a, you really turned turned the team around. Yeah, I suppose a lot of hard work from the players. You know, I suppose it was guiding them in the right direction, and that uh, they were knew they were good enough to win an intermediate, so they were, and also keep senior. You know, yeah. also in the league and. Uh, We've done that so far this year, and uh, I suppose going into Ulster now will be the next step, you know. Very good. So, um, obviously your experience has really helped. Um, and then um, our captain is Raymond. You're sitting there in the middle. Um, congratulations. Um, you know, obviously a very proud moment, a uh, captain in your club to the county title. Um, you know, how did it feel to 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 kind of captain them? I suppose after you got the replay, you know, did you think maybe you had lost a chance? Um, I suppose. Uh <clears throat> we never really lost belief the whole way through the year. Um, like even in the semi final, we got a draw, and with five minutes to go, we were trailing. But we always believed that we could get the result. And the same the last day, the um, the second day we were under pressure in the second half. But Jason has instilled that belief into the team, and I suppose the whole way through, we just had faith in ourselves and faith in management that we get over the line. And I suppose we showed it in the end. So yeah, it was great honour and uh, you know I'm just lucky to be captain there was 20 captains out there the last day so it's just great yeah that's good you've been um, you were part of the team that won back in 2004 am I right yeah yeah, yeah was, so this is your yeah it's great to have two intermediate medals so it is now so so you had this experience behind you just like you said Finbar you were part of the the team that winning the cup back in 2004 Um, you know you're a centre half forward. Mm -hmm. Um, you know how prominent were you in the game? Think you had a good game? Oh, well, maybe Jess might be the judge of that. <laughs> how prominent I was. Um, I felt I done you know, okay. You know, I um a decent enough first half. Um, probably faded a bit early in the second half, but that was probably down to Coothill's early dominance in the second half. You know, they yeah. came out strong. I think they got seven unanswered points between the end of the first half and the beginning of the second. So. Um, but look, we weathered the storm and 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 just delayed to be part of another winning team in Lacken. It's brilliant. Yeah, well, it, it certainly is. Tell us a little bit about um, you know train uh, training. What does a uh, type of training does Jason put you through? <laughs> it's it's a, it's a mixture now. He he uh, <laughs> he works us hard now. You know he, he really does. He, he seems very laid back and easy going. He is. He is. Like? Look, he's, he's, uh, he's still he's still playing the game. He's he's you know he's a new coach. He's a fresh coach. He has loads of ideas. He has worked with some. Top coaches in the uh, during his time with Calvin, mm -hmm. um, and I'm, I'm sure he'd tell himself he's he's extracted ideas from all of those people and he's put it to good use. Um, training was 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 very interesting. It was it was tough. It was challenging. And look, we've re reaped the re rewards so far, and hopefully it will continue next Sunday. Yeah, hopefully. So next Sunday, not long. You don't have very long to prepare for the um, the, the Ulster Intermediate um, Championships. So that's against Derry on. This coming Sunday, Jason, is that right? Yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. I suppose we're playing uh, Swatra. So a day of a two week break, and I suppose we're going into it, uh, I suppose, from last Sunday. Um, uh, I suppose we're after playing last five or six weeks, so we are non stop. And I suppose when you're winning, it's not so bad, but it does be, I suppose, yeah. mind draining at the end of it, you know. Yeah. So it does, uh, but there are a good bunch of fellas in that, and uh, to work hard week in, week out, and uh, I suppose last Sunday, as Fimber says, we kind of tired at times, but uh, we kept the intensity up as much as we could, and yeah. getting over that line was our main aim. And uh, uh, Sunday will be no different either. We'll be going out there as fresh as we can be, and uh, hopefully get over the line, and at least we'll have a two week break then. Thanks, God. So hopefully, um, man of the match, Niall McCurran, and maybe hopefully you can um, just do what you did on Sunday and score three goals, you know, a half tricks. Um, so two goals in the second half. You know, and that certainly turned the game um, in your favour. Uh, so well yeah. done, congratulations. Uh, I'd say you were delighted. <laughs> uh, I was, but like, it was great moment. more or less down to the rest of the players to out the field, really. Like, it was only for them. Like, it was just it was on behalf of them. Like, that's, I got man of the match, accepted man of the match. You know, the players out the field, they all played their heart out. Like, and mm -hmm. Fimber and Raymond here and Michal, you know, like the ball, the, fo the ball they played into the full forward line, like, it was exceptional. You know, like, only for them. Like I wouldn't have got mad match, we wouldn't have won, you know, it was just it's down from one to thirty, like, you know, great pl panel of players, like and only for them. You know, they all pushed each other on all year during training and that. And like only for them it was great.
I'd say you really put the pressure, um, you know, on Kutail at that point. Um, and Mihal, you know, you know, I suppose Kutail are hoping to end their four decades. They were hoping to get the title. Um, do you know, you know, what would you say? I suppose, and their their strategy was their forwards were really, and they never kind of lost a, a championship game. You know, how how do you feel that you um, oh, yeah, you like changed that? They're they're a very good hard working team. Like they're very young yet. Yeah. I think like the few great. You say you have more. Exp- they were going in as the underdogs. So. Yeah, uh, like they're they're still a very good team. Um, all of them really look up to John McCutcheon, you know, and uh, there are a few young lads. They'll they'll come good in a few years, I think. Like next year's always another day, you know. So, um, like in fairness, to those people, we worked we worked very hard to beat them, you know. Yeah. I think like, they were probably a bit pace here, on, but we had the power at the end of it just to push them out of the way. Yeah. Um, and I suppose, you know, it's commiserations to them. I'm sure they were uh, very disappointed. Um, but I'm sure it didn't stop their celebrations. <laughs> I would be driving through Cotill every morning. I, I, I see the the remains of a good night on Sunday, regardless. So, um, you say next up then is the obviously the Ulster Intermediate Championship. That's coming up this Sunday. So that's in, is that in Breffany as well? Yeah, Breffany, the, right, so d- this Sunday. Um, and what time, Jason? Do you know any uh, times or fixtures? Four to two. Uh, it's a double header along with Mullerhorn, so okay. it'll be good to get the whole squad. Be great, yeah. Again. So well, and they're playing Eric and Kieran, so best of luck That's to right. them also. So it'll be good yeah. to see two Cavan clubs doing well. Brilliant. So um, all about sport recommends you get them matches in Breffney Park this weekend and support your local teams and be um, hopefully we'd have a couple of um. So this is this game on Sunday, and is there is how many rounds will there be in this? After this. Well, I think this is uh, just a primary round. So uh, after this, I think we play the Monaghan champions. So, uh, so, uh, but uh, I suppose we haven't looked at any further than this yeah. Sunday coming. You know, I suppose it's about getting back down to earth this week. And I suppose a good thing that you're going to be on home ground, so that that kind of might help. You know, you kind of I suppose you'll be back on. You know, in Breffney Park it might yeah. help kind of put you. That would be yeah, uh, especially when you have the home support. It'd be a lot yeah. worse if you had to travel to Derry up to Swatra, a two-hour drive and that. Yeah. And uh, but I suppose we've played four or five matches in Breffney this mm-hmm. year, so it is like a home ground to us yeah. at the moment. And uh, that'll bring us on an extra point or two, I suppose, at the end yeah. of the match, you know. That's as good, I suppose, you have played so many games in Breffney, which I find a lot of teams are always daunted by the fact of playing in Breffney, and it seems to always ruin their, their game plan and the confidence of the team, so it might have also helped. So, Jason, plans then for next year, are you going to stay with this team, or has that been decided yet? <laughs> are you going to come co- um, co- back to the Rory's, or <laughs> maybe come to Kildallan? <laughs> <laughs> maybe have them um, take them out of... I have been asked, all right, so I have, <laughs> but uh, I suppose in the middle of the celebrations we'll just enjoy this push, uh, let the players enjoy it, uh, I suppose at the end of the day it's up to them fellas, they have to put in the hard work, I suppose it's just me guiding them the right direction in that, uh, but um, we'll worry about this Sunday and hopefully we'll have another few weeks yeah. of football before we uh, think about that. Yeah, well. Hopefully, I'm sure the guys will hope to hang on to. And I suppose that uh, Raymond, you you said, and I have to, you know, just say words can't describe how good a manager Jason is. You know, so sum up, you know, what Jason, you know, has done for this team. Ah, uh, yeah. What a nice compliment, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking for, for his place on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking for what? His place on Sunday. He's looking for his place on Sunday. Oh, you've heard it here now. <laughs> Yeah, you have to keep uh, him sweet. Is this is this it, is it, the key? Yeah. <laughs> um, as I said, he instilled the belief into us um, from the word go, and uh, even after the game, you know, it was easy to celebrate. But Jason had us out like Monday morning, early back training, getting ready for next week. So he, what? He's very good. Are you yeah. serious? Yeah. Yeah. What session was that? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Is this just in case yeah. uh, <laughs> Derry are watching this and they're really yeah. Yeah. wink wink? We all, we were you right Monday that. morning training? Yeah. We all done a we all had a recovery session. Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> yeah. So yeah, take the recovery. <laughs> so yeah, I know he's been very good all year on them. <laughs> he's definitely uh, he's been an inspiration to us all now this year so that's it yeah. oh well that's, that's <coughs> great uh, Jason uh, you know I didn't realise you were such a tough manager yeah. mm, out the, the morning after uh, tell us a little bit about your sponsors and give them a mention yeah um, McDonald Kogan's our sponsor from the Imperial Bar um, no matter I suppose everyone knows Donald from Cavan mm-hmm. and yeah, that and uh, in fairness now any time uh, anyone looks for sponsorship he's always there and uh, fair play to him he sponsored the jerseys and that and uh, 
Yeah, I suppose after Sunday we didn't really get into him there Saturday last Saturday, but hopefully after this week we'll get into him and that. But, and, uh, I'm sure he'll look after you as well anyway. Oh yeah, <laughs> no doubt about it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And what about um, your selectors and some of the backroom team? Yeah, we, we had uh, Martin Brady, so he was along with me, so he yeah. is, and uh, he's put in a, an awful lot of work, I suppose, behind the scenes and that. Yeah. Uh, we had Dan Lady at the beginning of the year, but uh, I suppose work commitments and that, he couldn't fulfil them, and uh, yeah. then you have Sean Delaney as well, I suppose, our coordinator and that, so there's a lot of boys, Pat Smith with the jerseys, and then the, the committee and Lacken and Chairman, it's, it, everyone's yeah. in it, it's like one big family yeah. to be honest. It's a very close club it and is, yeah, yeah. yeah and it's a country club and that's it, you yeah. always know the country club from the town club. So yeah. Very united in that or anything that's on or that to always go out and support it. Yeah, I think Lacken have always kind of um been a very strong a very strong club and um a very good track record. And like that, um just want to thank you all for coming in and and oh we've got the cup, yes, the cup. Yeah. You already forgot about the cup hiding down there on the floor. So you can hold it up there, Raymond. And um uh, yeah, Donal might fill this when you bring it into him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Donal, if you're let watching. Let me off, let me off the drink. Uh, just, just to say on Donal, Donal has actually been our main sponsor since 1989. Oh, right. So, just to, just to mention that, so just to thank him for his, his consistent continued su support. Continued support over the yeah. last 14 years, you know, so it's great for him as well. Like, yeah. He th that's gosh, that's a long time to be yeah. uh, your sponsor. So obviously, you are doing something right and he's doing something right if he wants mm -hmm. to. He's obviously got good faith in you and. Mm -hmm. He always obviously backs the winning teams. The teams are going to yeah. come out on top. But you know, a young up and coming team, but a lot of experienced players yeah. at the same time. So we've got yeah. the the perfect um, uh, combination. And um, but look, best of luck on Sunday. I hope it goes well for you. I really do. And um, enjoy the rest of the celebrations and good luck with the training. And do what Jason tells you. <laughs> and thanks very much. So that's it for our um, this evening from All About Sport. I will be back again next week at the same time, seven o'clock. And if you would like your sport featured on the show, simply contact drumlamedia at gmail.com. So um, thank you very much to uh, Lacken and to Lara for joining us tonight, um, junior and intermediate uh, club champions for 2012. So stay tuned as up next is our weekly music show by the gorgeous Paul Cox. Where is he actually? He's usually around annoying me. <laughs> He's under the chair. <laughs>